Hi, this is David Manti, Editor-in-Chief of PD&D and ECN Magazine. I'm here at Sensors Expo 2014 with Dave Richkis, who's a Bluetooth product line manager for Microchip Technologies. He's going to show us a demonstration of the RN4020. Dave, can you show us what we got here? I sure can, Dave. So what we're showing here is our Bluetooth LE, Bluetooth Smart Models, our RN4020. Okay. Doing simple command and control through this uh, Android app that I have on my phone. Mm -hmm. So you can see here we have uh, the RN4020 plugged into our Explorer 16 board. Okay. You can see uh, simple command and control. Oops, get my finger going here. Simple command and control. Mm -hmm. As you see the LEDs changing with the slider in the window here mm -hmm. in this Android app. And then coming back this way, you can see the on-off buttons changing mm -hmm. as I depress them here. Very good. So two-way communication demonstrated simple command and control with mm -hmm. our RN4020 module. So is that an onboard antenna? Yeah, uh, what we've done is we've printed the, PC, the PCB with the uh, Bluetooth LE antenna. Okay. And it's turned out to be a very high performing solution. We've achieved over 100 meters open air um, connection with this PCB antenna. Okay. And um, you'd mentioned that, what was the environment where that could actually be much longer, larger area? Oh, if you, um, and the, the uh, original testing was done with this module and an iPad. Okay. If you were to do module to module testing, you'd achieve well over 100 meters okay. of range. Okay, very good. This is a demonstration of our MLDP uh, demo. Mm -hmm. And basically, uh, through the ASCII command set, you configure the UART such that whatever comes in over the UART transmits out over Bluetooth LE. This board's set up for that, and I have my smartphone application here mm -hmm. to show um, that whatever I type here mm -hmm. shows up right here on my phone. Okay. And vice versa, whatever I type here on my phone shows up right there on the terminal screen. Okay. So this gives en engineers that flexibility to transmit and receive whatever kind of data they want to send from their system. Okay. Um, and you had talked a bit about the, uh, you know, the simple communication, particularly with UART or UART. Um, could you tell me a little bit more about why that's in demand with engineers? Well, engineers are used to talking UART to UART in mm -hmm. their systems. Uh, so uh, the Bluetooth SIG has published uh, a number of um, standard profiles, but mm -hmm. they don't fit uh, things like pump pressure or you know uh, any other type of measurement that uh, isn't uh, you know temperature, battery. And so um, what we've developed is uh, this MLDP or Microchips Low Energy Data Profile right. that enables engineers to stream across that UART, and they can set that up all through a simple ASCII command set. It makes the, the module very easy to design into their system. Okay. Could you talk a little bit about the applications? You had mentioned you know, wireless pulse sensors, proximity sensors. What were some of the other apps? Industrial apps. Uh, anything that's simple command and control. Um, authentication. You could uh, walk up to a door and the, the, your smartphone could authenticate you to your door and, and un unlock your door for you. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Developers could um, create a system where uh, you know, machine operators are locked out of the machine until they're certified, you know, and they're, they have a code on their smartphone or mm -hmm. tablet that's with them, or it's even part of the user interface of that machine. You'd mentioned earlier that people recognize the value of a module that makes it easy. Could you talk a little bit about, you know, some of the investment that Microsoft Technologies has made on this technology to sort of, you know, expedite time to market and help control sure, costs? Sure, sure. There's, uh, you know, Bluetooth QDID has achieved um, for the module, so, um, you know that it already works and it's certified uh, to work with uh, other Bluetooth LE products. Uh, also, you have um, you know, government regulatory um, certifications such as FCC or Canadian um, emissions testing. Mm -hmm. That's already done. Uh, besides just a sheer development time of someone putting this down on board and uh, putting you know, a piece of silicon down on board and trying to get to market, you're looking at uh, you know tens of thousands of dollars of development and you know nine nine months to year year and a half of development time. Okay, uh, you mentioned a little bit about regulatory. What were some of the? Um, you said you're close on uh, the European Union. Yeah, we have uh, uh, U.S. FCC Canadian certifications. Mm -hmm. um, European certification is uh, forthcoming, and we're also working on Korea and uh, Japanese certifications as well. Okay, and um, actually, one of the things we always like to do for our readers or viewers is uh, keep it simple. 
uh, much as microchip does. So, I mean, one of the th sections I like to do is why would we specify or why would I specify, which is the top three reasons why our design engineers would specify this component. I mean, in your opinion, what are the, what's that top three? Oh, wow. Uh, so you'll save time to market. That would mm -hmm. be number one. Uh, and all of the costs and hassles of, of getting, getting to market as well. So um, also, um, you'll achieve what you're trying to do. You'll, you'll have a simple ASCII command set and you'll have it up and working in you know, weeks mm -hmm. versus months. Uh, and uh, we've demonstrated uh, you know, very good range with this module so they'll get the performance that they need. Mm -hmm. uh, right out of the box, uh, you know, this module will achieve 100 meters open air operation, for example. Okay, all right. Well, thank you very much for taking the time. I appreciate it. All right. Let's thank do you the did. uncomfortable sitting handshake. All right. <laughs> From Sensors Expo 2014, I've been David Manti. Thank you very much for your time.